So Today I'm just here to introduce uh, Nasera Seguane, who is the coordinator of Central SuperX, specialization of France, and she will introduce you to the all the all the third semester at Cal University. Okay, so the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you for introducing me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Um, I don't know if I can talk without my mask because uh, usually when I have the distance, I do it in France, but I don't know if I can do it here. You can. Uh, you can. Yes. It's I more can. clear to see you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't do it when the glasses are small, but okay. Um, Hello everyone, thank you for your coming and uh, as you know, I'm Nasara Simoni and I am the local coordinator of the specialization, the specialization at So, um, how many you are? Because I don't remember the selection of this. Uh, 29? It took place two years ago, I think. 29. 29, okay. And you are from different countries? I, d I don't remember the last uh, selection because it took place uh, yeah, two years ago and we missed some students also. So. Okay, I continue with my presentation. So um, the purpose of this presentation is to give you an overview about the specialization in um, at Central Spedek. First, I need to um, perhaps present myself uh, more. I am professor in computer science department of course of and as as uh, as professor, I am also member of uh, of a group, uh, LADAC group uh, laboratory uh, laboratory formerly LRI, now we don't know if you know this name because it's an old laboratory on the campus. And now it's LESN. LESN means Laboratoire Interdisciplinaire des Sciences Numériques. You understood? No. No? No? Yeah. Uh, it's a, a laboratory, a interdisciplinary laboratory of uh, um, digital uh, science. Okay? So it's the same, I didn't change anything in my work, so it's only a structural change. Uh, in France, we, uh, these last years, many reforms uh, we, has been applied uh, to restructure the university in France, to the university and the, the, and the research laboratories also, because they are linked, okay? And this is why I am also from university, Paris Sacré University, because Paris Sacré groups, uh, university was created uh, to group many institutions under this university, okay? So, um, 
my presentation might be talked about, give some words, uh, some history about how high school and parents are still it's important to understand that even if it has been achieved in 2015, but it's important to understand that because when we, if we come to the campus, you will see many walls, many buildings, many things, and you, you need to understand the past, okay? So I will give you some words about that. And um, then I will talk about the first semester. You know, this year the specialization is, uh, in, is a split uh, into two, uh, two semesters. The first semester is uh, dedicated to lectures and of course evaluations, assessment exams and all these, these things. And then the second semester is about the internship, okay? So we, when I, I, I will talk about the lectures, but of course I cannot uh, talk um, because it's not, uh, I have some course where it's my domain. Of course I can talk about uh, in detail, but some courses are not my domain. So I, I, will, uh, I will try to explain what is the goal of each lecture of course, okay? And with a focus, of course, uh, from during the first semester, you will have a bigger project uh, along the, all the semester. And it's important to understand what is the purpose of this project. Then you have the master thesis. Some points about the master thesis to be explained because uh, the form is different from the other countries. Um, not only for, um, for academic reasons, but also for regulation, uh, some regulations reasons, okay? So I need to in explain these, these things, then I will talk about some practical information, not, uh, not too much detail about that, only to give, to give you some idea about the guidelines and uh, some procedures, because I wait uh, for the selection, okay, your choices, and then I will give you all details about the administrative procedure, okay? So, uh, perhaps some slides, you saw some slides in my last presentation, so, um, it was in, in September, I don't remember, uh, last year, yes? So quickly about the history of Paris Atlay. So um, first, uh, since January 2015, we merged two grand école, uh, uh, school, big schools in, in English. In French, it's very important in French because the selection is very hard um, to be in this kind of schools, okay? So we merged two, two grandes écoles, um, Subelec and Central Paris. And Central Subelec is now the former Central Paris and the former Subelec. Okay? We didn't imagine it <laughs> too much the name of the school, Central Subelec. Okay? And in the same time, the idea is to create also uh, the big French university, um, Paris Sacré University, okay? And this Paris Sacré University uh, don't inclu doesn't include only some high school, but many other institutions, uh, institutions that, that were already on the campus, and the, the institutions that moved to the campus, and the institutions that will move to the campus, okay? It, it, it's still under, construction, okay? But uh, the works progressed a lot. I didn't organize uh, the campus after, uh, after the COVID because uh, the building grows quickly, okay? So the, 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 the campus is really very big. It's strange for me because when it's too big, it's good perhaps for the students, but not for, for the persons who, who are working in the campus, okay? Because you don't organize persons, how, what they are doing, what, it's too, too much big. But we, we need to be used to that, okay? 
So the diploma delivered by uh, by uh, by some hospital at first. We deliver now in this part. I talk about some hospital and the, the part about the master is for it's delivered both at some hospital and Paris Sacré University. This is one of the reform we had to deliver the diploma, the master diploma, by the joint diploma. Not only some hospital also other, other schools, okay, like UNS uh, um, and also Agri, uh, Agro and other schools, okay? The master is joint. And um, so this part, this is, the, this is the kind of diploma you can have, you will have if you, um, if you join this specialization, okay? And of course, we, we have also postgraduate degree. It's also joined with Paris Sacré University. So, in, uh, for, for Central Subelec, uh, we have many campuses. Of course, the campuses you, you will have your courses will be Sacré, only Sacré, only Paris Sacré. Uh, we have other campuses in Rennes and Metz, other cities in in France and also uh, other campuses in Morocco, in China, and in India. But it's not the same, not the same diploma because it's not the same selection. Okay. If you have questions, you can ask. You can interrupt me and uh, ask your question. Did you say uh, for the diploma and the uh, oh. The diploma we will get is from Central Supplec plus Paris Supplec like, together. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is a big reform. It's a very good reform for the students. Yeah. Okay. But engineers are also our students yeah. <laughs> because the selection is different. Yeah. Okay. And um, for example, the official ceremony uh, was postponed because of the COVID. Mm. Will take place in April for the generation of. Of last year, okay. Sorry, uh, just make sure. So we have, we will be having classes at Saclay. Yes, yes. the courses will take place in Saclay, in Paris Saclay. Uh, Paris Saclay is uh, near Paris, but not not Paris. <laughs> okay, it's no. very, very important to understand. We are um, twenty five kilometers from Paris. Okay. You have transport, you have everything, but we are not in Paris. It's very important to understand. We are in the, in the campus in Ile-de-France. Ile-de-France is around Paris. Okay? It's outside the doors. You know, in Paris you have Paris, you have the doors, and you have the other departments. So it's not the same thing. Okay? But of course you can go to Paris, to make <laughs> what you want uh, if you have time. <laughs> I mean, because the specialization is very important to understand. I, I think it's also in, for the other specialization, you have only one, two weeks, two, two weeks of holidays. Christmas, only that. You don't have other holidays. When you start your internship, you don't have holidays. Okay, you can take one day or two days. Okay, uh, you can perhaps postpone your internship because you have the choice of the date. I will talk about that after, but you don't have too much holidays. It's very important to understand. Some of my, my students um, came to Paris first semester, just after the internship and just after the job no holidays during two years okay so it's very important to understand that yes um, uh, about the diploma uh, i have here that first value more about engineering degree than the master degree what will be less in value france the engineer degree is it's a history of uh, of yes. the schools in france yes. okay master is master two master one Master one is like bachelor of four years. Okay, master two is it's a, it's a bachelor with one plus one. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the master. 
And engineer is also master two. It's equivalent to the master two in terms of the number of years of studies. Yeah. And will it affect the value of master degree that is happened? I mean, when the company are hiring, they prefer the engineer rather than the master. Ah, uh, if the companies did not make the difference between the two? Yeah. <coughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I cannot tell you no, because uh, especially, especially, uh, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the engineer degree. I'm talking about about the school they come from. Okay, this is very important. And in computer science, it's more open, of course. All my students are working now. Okay, it's not a problem. But of course, perhaps when you arrive in a company. The salaries are not the same. Okay, this is life. And this is why it's very important also sometimes to make a PhD. Because a PhD can give a, a value. Um, because you, you made, of course, you, you make a master in, in European institutions, but it's very important to have a PhD to give more value to your to your academic uh, skills, okay? But it's not mandatory, of course. Uh, as I said, uh, many students are working and are happy uh, in their companies. Okay, I try to, to go, um, this is a, a, the card to, to show you it's really old <laughs> because uh, many things changed in this in this picture. Uh, it's only to show you that we have three buildings for uh, for lectures, okay? Bâtiment Eiffel, Bâtiment Mig, and uh, Bâtiment Breguet. Okay, and you have an application. I don't under, I don't uh, remember the application um, developed by the students when they arrived the first time. To, to find your room, to find the building, to find the residences, etc. It's really uh, well uh, made, and it's really useful for the students when they arrive. I will give you all these this, um, this, this links, useful links, for the students who, who join uh, some high school. So Eiffel, we Breguet, why this nouns? Because they are former students of Central or Superlec. Okay? You know Gustave, so Gustave uh, uh, Eiffel is from, from Central Paris. Okay? And Breguet is from Superlec. And we, it's more recent, is also from Central Superlec. And his, the company week uh, uh, with the, the, these two new buildings, week and Eiffel, okay? Because Central Paris was in another place, okay? And they were only Breguet was in um, on the campus. And, uh, sorry, where are we having classes? This is. You have some, some meters between uh, between Williams. That's not very far. And the accommodation are here, so but you have more accommodation also uh, because you are on the campus. It's plateau. You are the valley, and um, in the valley you have other residences also. Okay, oh. you you need to to be sportive. <laughs> Do we need to find the accommodation by ourselves or the I will talk about this uh, after. Yes, okay, you can. Okay. It's not a problem, but you have deadlines. And this is another picture. It's, I think, Eiffel. It's uh, one of the restaurants in uh, Eiffel building. So the new building are really, very open, OK? And you can walk everywhere, you have Wi-Fi everywhere, and it's really uh, good for the students. And this is what? 
I don't see this uh, the, the main entrance of Eiffel. It's not clear. It's, uh, it's, I think this is wig. So we don't see classrooms <laughs> in this image. Oh, of course we have classrooms. You need to work. <laughs> Okay, this is some of the new residences. Yeah, it's, a, it's a special uh, uh, building, so they are in circle. This is new uh, residences, okay, on the plateau. But we have all the residences. Okay, so now serious things. Um, I will talk about lectures. Um, I have two. Um, I needed to update the program twice, last year and this year. Why? Because uh, in the local uh, master of accreditation, the new accreditation uh, started last year. And for you, the new BDMA program, okay, because BDMA 1 finished, and now we start BDMA 2. So I updated it again for the program, okay? not major updates, but I needed to update some things, okay? So, um, you we have one, two, three, four, five, five, five scientific courses, and in paris -Saclay, mm, I can talk about on, uh, only paris but it, it includes also some Kaspirek, of course, we need to have at least five ECTS, no scientific courses, okay? So, it's easy to find it's French language for no francophone students. Is there some francophone students? Otherwise, I have another solution. You, because you cannot follow French course if you are, of course, francophone. A student from government that doesn't mean a French student, but from country where French is also taught. Okay, and uh, otherwise you can follow uh, English, scientific English, how writing uh, papers, etc. Make presentations, scientific presentation. You can follow this also, but it could be it will be optional for you. Okay, it's only for you if you follow a uh, uh, French language. Okay, French language is done now by um, Marion. Uh, sure, you can you can talk <laughs> French language easily after this course. Oh. She is very very kind and um, very pedagogic. I I think you did one semester of uh, French. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not enough, and it's very important. Even if the courses and all the lectures are in English, it's very important to understand the language to, for your life, because you are not in the country only for, um, for studies. You are also to see people, to, make, to understand the culture, etc. So it's very important also to try to make efforts to, uh, to learn really the language, okay? Um, and uh, one uh, of the specificity of uh, this um, this organization is uh, each each course, of course, I'm only the local uh, um, coordinator of this program, of course. So uh, I give uh, the the management, okay, the 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 management to each lecture. Okay, for example, for machine learning, I have one professor, and this one professor manages the course. Of course, we define according to the content of the course. This means that each lecture is supported by a research group for M2. In Paris, actually, it's very oriented research. Okay, it's very important uh, that the courses are oriented research, and this is why we have uh, many projects, we have many scientific articles to read, and also, of course, we have the practice. 
So it is supported by a research group. This means that the person can, for example, you in machine learning, um, perhaps it's not a good, a good example, visual analytics, for example, it's managed by, by Petra, one of um, my lectures. Uh, is involved in the program, and each year he, he, she can she can recruit other other persons to help her to uh, to to do the, the course. And generally, you have PhD students also who are involved. And PhD students generally are on the subject, and really, it's a it's a uh, a value, an added value, when you have. Uh, of course, when you start with a course and with a lecture, you know, new, new uh, concepts given by someone who is working on these concepts. Okay, a real expert. So, um, so this is the the, the the manner that the way that I, I manage the, the program. You have um, and. Uh, of course, it's very important to have the two things in the master two: the theory and the practice. Okay, I hate, really hate, the internship because we have many, many internship of in this format, data science, this last years, and especially in the companies, um, the students start by we have data. Okay, I have data, I have uh, some libraries from Python, Kitlog, for example. I, 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 I process data and I try all the methods and, and this is data science. No, it's not, it's not that data science. It's very important to understand what each approach is doing, what is the background of each approach. Otherwise, it's not useful to apply them Okay, it's very, it's very useful to have many libraries available today to apply to, to apply different methods, compile them. But if you don't understand the method, you are not, you are not able to, to understand the results. Okay, to, to apply the method itself. So it's very important. Data scientist doesn't mean I know all the libraries and I know how to to apply these libraries. It's very important in data science, it's very important process data, to understand data before making machine learning, okay? So take time to understand, because after that, you are students. So please, take this opportunity as student to learn after you will not have time, okay? And nobody can give you knowledge. You have to take it. Okay? We are here to we try to give you some knowledge with some structure, but you have to take it. So it's very important to to learn, to be motivated by learning. Okay? Uh, just a question on the two parts. Are they uh, two completely self-contained parts, or do they flow from one? Like, what does it mean to have two parts for machine learning, for example? I will, okay. I will come to, uh, generally, first part is, no, it's not the case for machine learning, because uh, now you have, in the program, you have uh, basics in machine learning, I think, yeah. in the program in, at UPC. So, uh, the two, two parts for machine learning, reinforcement learning, and deep learning, okay? Advanced, mm -hmm. this course was, very difficult for students last year because they didn't have what you have, what you will have today. I don't know if you started with machine learning courses at UPC. You have. Yeah. Okay, and uh, visual analytics, you have basics, and um, it's not a problem visual analytics, but because I, I think you have all the same level, and you have no knowledge about the question, and um, you have advanced parts, okay? The same thing for decision modeling. I, I will talk in detail about that. So another point is, which is it, very important, the lectures are mandatory, okay? And the presence is mandatory. This doesn't mean you cannot miss some, some courses. Of course, you can. 
but you are, you are adult and you, you need to um, to follow all the lectures. Each, uh, as I said, uh, each uh, uh, lecturer who manage a lecture give the rules, assessment rules. Assessment rules, uh, generally you can have exam, written exam, or oral exam, combined with projects, combined with, uh, um, with participation. I, I don't know, it depends on the, the professor and the lecturer will give you the rules in the first uh, uh, slot of the lecture, okay? Um, so this, uh, this, um, this gives you also the opportunity to be assessed on, on different form, formats and it's very important for you because written exam perhaps is not very good for some of you and give you the, the, the opportunity to, to show your skills. Yes? Yeah, <clears throat> from the from the perspectives of the students that came before, uh, did, did they say if it was more or as demanding as the semesters before, like UPC and UOB? Is it is uh, sometimes feel like more demanding than the other ones, the previous ones, or did they say anything that? I don't, I don't know. I don't. Uh, uh, the background you are talking about the background of each specialization. Yeah, I mean, like, did the students that go to to Saint Thomas of like in the previous BDMA cohorts, did they say anything about uh, Saint Thomas of like being more demanding, more difficult to do than you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can, you can. Of course, you have contact with um, you have some some links with other generation. Those students, no. Not much. LinkedIn, for example? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Via, via LinkedIn? LinkedIn? We haven't. No? Uh, you don't have? We haven't, but we will try, I think. LinkedIn. You don't have the names of uh, some contacts? Of, uh, no, it would be no? great if you have some alumni that uh, have gone through ITB4 or BDMA1 that you can provide. That would be very, uh, very appreciated. Okay, I don't know. I I, I know. I am not uh, aware about this kind, but I, I think the student can discuss with the other generations because it's important to you have some some feedbacks and but be careful. The program change also. Okay, and partners change it also. Okay. So I am here. I'm I'm in this program. Uh, I achieved three years over four years IT4BA, and I achieved um, two years, over three years of the BDMA1, and now perhaps we, ha we have four years, okay, for BDMA2, mm -hmm. and we will see. Next year, I will, I, I will have um, some of uh, the students of this year, I will see how. Okay, so uh, the rules, uh, of course, the visit exam, I don't like the visit exam at the end of the year. I, I, um, I request the lecturers to do it before the internship, okay, to be sure that everything is, is achieved correctly and you can start your, uh, your uh, internship because this means that you, you need to come back in June, I don't know in June where you will be, okay, perhaps abroad or perhaps in another city, um, because the internship can, can take place in different places, okay? Not only in Paris. Okay, so the visit exam, not for all the courses, I can tell you, for Big Data Research Project, there is no visit exam, because it's project, no visit exam for project. So if it's possible, I ask uh, the lecturers to, to manage to schedule, but it's not always easy to do it, okay? So if you can not have a visit exam, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> and the minimum I have to, to have, um, to achieve with success the first semester is to have 10 over 20 in all uh, lectures, and of course in the overall need. Uh, what is new about BDMA2? Like, <coughs> the contents of machine learning. Oh. 
and also uh, these parts. Um, okay. And the, the distribution of ECTS also. So ECTS here is uh, it's five ECTS for each box. Okay. So you will have for for each two um, uh, for each part of lecture. You will have 24 hours of course. Okay. Presence. I'm talking about it, including the exam. But the rules are the same at UBC, I think. Okay. So the first course, this is the first um, first lecture. I'm not very um, I, I will try to explain, but uh, of course um, I had some basic, uh, uh, some basic uh, skills when I was student in this domain, but it's not my domain. So I try to explain what is, what is the goal of this course. So decision modeling is, um, I don't know if you did um, something like um, some lectures called uh, operational research. No, no one don't know what it is. Okay. <coughs> now the purpose of decision modeling is uh, to learn decision models uh, in certain situations and uh, with um, uh, okay I will give you examples it's better so perhaps before uh, Give you the details about the objective, classi what is classical decision models. Um, the lecture is managed by Brice Man Manan. It's from Paris uh, Dauphin University, you know Dauphin University? So Dauphin University is a very good university in Paris, okay? <laughs> Not in Paris, exactly. In Paris is uh, known in the domain of finance, for example, and also in this domain, okay, of risk. Um, he is the head of a uh, research group. The name of the, the research group is Algorithmic Decision Theory. And his main topics are directly related to the course. Okay? So what is the decision modeling in this context, in this context of this program, is to, um, to try to model um, uh, objectives with uh, different constraints and uh, to make a decision, okay? And you can have multiple objectives, hierarchical objectives, paradox between objectives, and the idea is to, to, um, to study all these models, how, wh what we can model and what we can solve uh, when we try to, um, to model decision model. I'm not sure, I'm, uh, it's not, I, 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 I told you it's not my domain, okay? So, um, but you understand the idea of the models. Uh, what is important to understand is the three levels, levels of decision analysis, descriptive, prescriptive, and normative analysis, because this three levels appears in the models, in general, not, not the three in the same time. So descriptive what people actually do or have done, okay? So prescriptive what people should and can do, and normative analysis is what we can foresee, okay? What people should do and do. And this is the other aspect of decision -making. So perhaps it's new for you. It's not like machine learning. Okay, you you will learn no, new things, but you know what is machine learning. It's perhaps it's a new concept for you, but it's very very interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. these kind of models are used in finance. Uh, is it more about mathematics, like requirements, like require us to do the mathematical computations, something like that? Um, in this. Um, this this kind of course can can be only mathematical, oh, okay. okay, only theory, 
but with the with Brice Maya, Maya you will have also applications. So application is not it's not um, it's not programming many things because you have tools for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But don't worry, you have many programs to do in the program. Uh, machine learning is the part that uh, will change my next year. I put the name of the same persons, but I'm not sure that it will be. Uh, this, uh, this suspect is not uh, updated completely, scheduled for me. Because Michel Sebag will be, will leave perhaps next year. I'm not sure. I hope not. <coughs> and Victor Bouvier is a PhD student who defended uh, this year. I'm not sure that he will continue with us. Okay? But the idea of machine learning is to, to see the two parts, reinforcement learning and deep learning, and compare the two approaches. Okay? This is what you will see in machine learning. Of course, you will play with data, with benchmarks. With, you will play also with, with different models to compare. And this is very important. This is what I, 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 I was saying. Um, very important to understand the, the theory behind, okay? The approach behind. When I can do after this course, you, you, you should be able to say, all oh, this problem I can, it's better if it's by reinforcement or deep learning is more appropriate not the same kind of approach, okay? So this is the idea. You should be able to understand the different approaches and to compare them and this, the, the, what is the idea behind each approach, okay? You, you, you need to have this, this intuition at the end of these courses, okay? To be a good data scientist. Visual analytics um, is managed by Petra, perhaps John Daniel Fickett um, is a star. I, I, didn't, I didn't talk about Michel, perhaps. Uh, Michel is also in my, it's another, um, it's another group in my, uh, in my laboratory, okay? And um, so she, she is uh, in um, LSN, uh, and Victor has already, uh, has already his uh, company. I don't know if it is, it is still working in the company because he defended this year. Because we push also our uh, engineer to, to create, okay? This is the, this world, you will uh, hear it. Um, many times at Central Spirit. Okay, push the student. Innovation, innovation, entrepreneuriat to create new, uh, uh, new companies. Okay? So if you are one of the uh, former students, did it. He creates, uh, he created the, his, so it was the first, was that the second IT for the age generation? Uh, he, he achieved his internship in his own company. Oh, so he created company to do yes. the internship? Yes. Because we have, we, have the, we have the support for that. We push the student to do it. He, he was enough motivated to do it, and he did it. Uh, sorry, could you speak maybe a little bit more to what kind of funding that you guys have for startup uh, work? Does it go through the university? Uh, is it you, you have you have help, you have support from. I, I'm not aware for about everything, but you have support when you create first time um, startup. Uh, you have support from the government. Mm -hmm. Okay, via the, the school, of course. Okay, so it's you not for uh, a salary. And then are there also incubators in terms of um, uh, like mentorship and guidance? For, for example, I can tell you, you will have, uh, I, I don't know how many months, perhaps one year or more than one year, 
you can have uh, the the place, okay, the local to to an office, yeah. and uh, you can have, um, for example, uh, the student uh, paid himself, okay, and his pay came from help, okay. And you can have also, uh, I think, also um, a budget to start, yeah. okay? But I cannot tell you exactly, because these kind of things change in time, okay? But it's always the idea, push the student engineer to, uh, to create startups. Okay. So what is visualization analytics? Um, visualization analytics, it's, um, it's another way to solve a problem. A solve a problem that is, uh, um, that we cannot uh, solve using machine. We need human to interpret the results. Not, not only because the data is huge, but because we, we, we need to, um, to see, okay, and we cannot solve the problem, there is no analytical, uh, no machine learning works no, uh, to, to solve the problem. In visualization analytics, it's not only this creating models, see results, it's also um, to, um, another part in visualization analytics is to, um, to make easier uh, showing in data. Okay, but you, you can see the information in a, a big and large, uh, large wall, how I can present the things, how we can visualize, visualize data. You have text, you can enrich the text with images, with, with uh, some, some additional information to make the text more readable. Okay, this is also visualization analytics. Okay, not only, okay, I have a graph, I need to see, to detect communities and to see clusters and to see perhaps triangles and, okay, we have this because data is too huge to, visualization analytics make, makes this thing um, possible to, to, to see, to observe the thing, some the th new things that we cannot observe analytically, okay? So this is also perhaps new for you, because no basic courses exist for now um, in visualization analytics. So this is um, one of the projects, and another project, the recent one, I think last year or the year before. Um, so um, Petras uh, submitted a project to students uh, on topics, social media, depression, gender equality, uh, topics that we, you, you know, okay? And then uh, the student had to define a question. Um, what is uh, the, the potential uh, social impact uh, how we can we can visualize it, okay? So the student have had to define a question, what is of this impact, and then find the answer by visualization. This is one an example of project given by Petra in this course, and Petra and other students. Um, this is me, so Massive Graph Management and Analytics. So this is me, but not only me. And clearly here we have, we will have two, two parts, but not two parts, you know, you cannot see the things I will have to read and the practice, we do it in parallel, okay? So uh, the purpose of this course is to give the, uh, the foundation of network science. Um, Algorithm study different algorithms for different applications to to make uh, uh, graph analytics and also you can see also that machine learning could be useful also applying the machine learning could be useful on graph okay so this is the objective 
the first objective of the course of this lecture, and the second is to you you will start a, a new biology surgery that you will start uh, with management. So with, I don't remember the name of the course. Um, start with spa, agro, something like this. So, so you will start with um, with adult and Spark and how we, you can represent data on this kind of platforms, distributed platforms. Okay, so we will continue. I need this this knowledge. It's a, it's a real uh, um, a value to, to, to start with this course because we, I will continue on working on Spark. Um, on working on Spark, why? To, to be able to um, to distribute a, a large graph, okay, and to compute, to make analytics on distributed data. But the distributed data, in this case, it's a graph, not data, not only data in general, okay, not text, not uh, not tables, um, it's a graph, okay. And uh, I don't know if you know MapReduce. There is two kind of computation models, parallel to computation models. You have MapReduce. MapReduce is creation of uh, um, the giant of uh, web industry, yeah, Google. Okay. Um, it was it was introduced by not introduced, introduced, uh, implemented, and used by. Uh, uh, by Google to uh, to implement, you know, yeah. page rank to implement page rank, and we will continue with this model to adapt them to graphs. Okay, and the computation model, the name of the computation model, it's Pregel. It's also a creation of Google. You know why Google needs graphs. Why? Like, like, like. Yes, basically yeah. the web is a graph. Yeah. Okay, everything is related, really linked, and and um, the most of uh, of calculations they they need are based on data that are linked and that can be represented as a graph. Okay, the problem is the graphs are very large in this case. And it's only for uh, for Google, not also for in bio um, in biology in um, many domains. We need we need in transport, in um, communication, telecommunication. We, we need we, we can have large graphs. So of course, it's not only me. I didn't put the names of. Um, of other uh, participants, of the other participants. So, as I said, perhaps more precisely, I can talk about some algorithm. The algorithm we need, we need to see first part page rank to understand what is behind page rank, and of course, because page rank is uh, the approach behind is um, is reproduced in many approaches, in many algorithms. Okay, like random walk and. Uh, uh, label propagation problem, community detection, influence, uh, influence uh, maximization, minimization, and we will see also, as I said, how we can apply machine learning to uh, specific data like large graphs. Okay, and so the idea is to design and analyze uh, efficient graph algorithms. So in this course, I will not give you a project because too much projects kill projects because you will have other projects also. My the idea in this course is to give you um, to, to to give you the opportunity to. Um, of course, you have uh, many libraries, so you take some libraries, you adapt them to another problem, and you can compare on benchmarks because we have many benchmarks, um, and we we will we will uh, of course work on um, on the cloud, okay, a real situation of uh, spark distributed data. Uh, last year, I had a problem with that, and I I asked the resources. Uh, I paid no? uh, AWS uh, cloud. It's not. It wasn't easy no, to use it, really, 
uh, because we don't have any support. And um, it was really difficult, but the students uh, track uh, work on this kind of platform. But next year we will have our own platform. Okay? I don't need to, to use at the, uh, at the US uh, services. Okay. And it was interesting because I saw many things. Uh, um, the machines that are not expensive with some countries, yeah. double, <laughs> the prices are double in some countries. It's very, uh, the economic model behind that uh, is very interesting. But the students were, were happy with that because they can put on their curriculum with their and we used at the US services. I don't know if it's very important, but if you say the platform for cloud, uh, for uh, distributed uh, parallel computing, it's, it's enough, okay? Okay, now the most important uh, part, it's me also, but not only me, of course, I cannot uh, manage all this work, uh, is big data research project. So the idea be behind it's uh, uh, it's uh, on all the semester when you come in September we uh, will start around mid September okay you start with your projects and the first time I will give you some seminars okay depend on the projects to give you the background for example. Um, in your project, you need natural processing language. We'll give you some seminars about this. You need more, uh, some background about, uh, I will give you examples after, okay? So the idea is to start, you, you will have a project, and uh, a project to do from scratch, okay? This means that you formalize the problem, you develop it, you implement it, you test it, you evaluate it on data sets, and you write also. So this is the methodology you need for the, your master thesis. And this is one of the objectives of this book. It's, uh, it's to make you um, ready for, for the master thesis, because the master thesis you will have different supervisors, in some laboratories your supervisors will follow you closely, uh, you have to be here each day, and others <laughs> uh, you not have support. So this um, the supervision could be varied from one person to another, and especially between companies and academic persons. Okay, so it's very important to know what you have to do because you will be evaluated. You will defend your master thesis not your supervisor, okay? So this is what, this is the objective, is to make you ready to, to deliver a master thesis, uh, um, a good master thesis at the end, okay? I will, I can give you examples of, um, of PDRP projects, so, <coughs> I, some years ago, I was really interested with my colleagues, uh, with Wikipedia, because I work a lot on graphs, and we played with Wikipedia, and the, one of the objectives is to, uh, you know, Wikipedia is, is uh, the, the, the largest encyclopedia, and we can see it as a graph, and we can model it. You can say that a node is a concept, is a page, article, and the links, you have many kind of things, of links between nodes, between concepts. You can have related concepts, so internal links. You can have cross-language links. You can have also category links, and the categories are, you can, uh, see them as hierarchy because you have categories, subcategories, etc. You have many, many, uh, many things in one page of, uh, of um, you have also disambiguation. For example, if you take Java, Java is 
a Kofi, Java is, is a dense, Java is an island, Java is a programming language, etc. And when you have a page about this organization, you have the link to each concept. Okay, so it's very useful because, because you can, uh, thanks to this representation, you can have the different kind of interpretation of the same word. And you can be able to, this can help you to understand what is around each concept and to analyze your data. Okay, we use it, uh, uh, we exploit uh, 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 in the past, in many projects, uh, Wikipedia. So one of the projects was is how we can um, discover new course links, okay? Because you, when you have uh, an article, you sometimes, sometimes um, you have major and minor language, and you can, you can perhaps recommend another article as course links to French. For example, I don't know. You have the University of uh, Catalonia in, in English, and you have uh, in Spanish, and we don't have a link. Okay, the two pages exist, and you can recommend. Uh, thanks to the structure of the graph, you can find, discover new cross links. Okay, and as Wikipedia is not perfect, we can also eliminate wrong links. So this is one of the examples one of the examples that uh, we played with the students, and uh, they published in, um, in very good conferences, uh, conferences around the A. Okay, so it was really um, a very good experience with them. And one of them uh, achieved his master thesis with me. It was George. Uh, all the um, other projects on Twitter, of course, it's also my um, Twitter is um, it's also a good graph uh, that we can explore to analyze trends, to detect events, uh, to track sentiments, uh, uh, reputation of users, interests, rumor detections, etc. And um, with uh, two students, Suena and uh, Modita, with BDRP, we published two papers, one in the journal and another in the, in the... And what is new in this uh, integrating uh, reputation is very, uh, very... Okay, the, this issue uh, is, is, uh, is known in the literature. We, we try to solve this problem to to, um, to propose many kind of approach. But the, the idea, what is new in this work, is that to say that the reputation, we, I, can, I can evaluate the reputation of a person uh, thanks to its association with another person. So uh, the, the reputation is not, um, is not static. You cannot say that person has good reputation, the person has uh, a bad reputation. And this is what is what was new in this uh, in this work. Uh, other, um, we, we worked also uh, with other um, with companies. Um, my uh, I work a lot with uh, Schnuberger. Schnuberger is uh, I have I supervise um, a student with them, a student former at the four year student. Uh, they have many, this is uh, not only Schlumberger, the problem of uh, many companies. They, they have many documents and uh, uh, documents they scan them, they, they want to, to explore them, okay? So uh, uh, the problem is uh, the scan is, is of low quality, quality is not good, um, it's very difficult to, th this, this is what the, 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 the kind of, uh, of, uh, of jobs they have to, to solve, okay? Uh, so it's very, it's also related to uh, images, okay, to how to extract, because scan documents are images, so how to extract, how to, to detect the boundaries of paragraphs, the boundaries of images, so the boundaries of titles, when you have a table. Uh, we worked a lot with that like, uh, last year. 
Miss Schlumberger. And uh, one of uh, the supervisors was a person from Schlumberger and also uh, my PhD students. Uh, we yes another um, another uh, another uh, project was with the analysis software mm -hmm. uh, and we worked also with another I, I didn't put everything uh, translation using deep learning it was very new you know deep learning is very good for translation and uh, the, ob the objective of this project was to compare the different languages so of course what is bad to translate, the results are bad for which language? You know? Spanish. Now, Spanish, no. For as Asian language in general. Okay? Asian language, to, when we, you need to translate, I'm, I'm talking about the translation. You translate from um, Latin language to Asian language, it's very difficult. So they work on that. Okay, and it was very, very interesting to compare the results from different benchmarks because the translation is very, uh, you have many, many benchmarks to compare the approach to say, uh, in this benchmark, my approach is better than another, and we, we try to understand why. Okay, now in the master thesis internship, okay. Uh, as I said, the master thesis internship in France is under some regulations. Okay, so uh, this means that we have some documents, administrative documents, to <coughs> that uh, that uh, you have to sign as a partner. Okay, so the intern, the school. It's between the intern, the school, and the host institution. Okay. Of course, you have a tutor also, and generally, I am your tutor. Uh, I'm not tutor in the sense that I'm not supervisor. I'm tutor in the sense that I, I follow your internship to be sure that everything is going well, and not on your work. Okay, and but I can also be supervisor of internship. Uh, last year, I didn't propose internship. Was. <laughs> Last year was terrible for me. <laughs> Online uh, teaching is. Uh, I didn't propose anything last year, but I I had uh, two. I had Suela, Modita, I had uh, Victor. I had uh, I have um, I had I think six or seven students in master thesis. Okay, from from this program, program BDMA or it 4 bm But of course, I need a budget also because. In France, we have to pay uh, to pay the intern, and we have uh, the, uh, the minimum uh, amount required is defined by the regulation. And you, the internship in your uh, in M in master two, yes. Sorry, so are you saying that the for internship the payment comes through the university, not from the company that we? No, pay? no, the host institution will pay you. So regardless of which company I work for, I'm paid by the... Yes, you will be paid. It's not a salary. It's not a salary. It's a, I, I don't know how I can... Um, I can uh, it's a, a, training, a traineeship grant. Okay. To grant. Is that the same for all institutions in the BDMA program, or is that specific to school? I don't know. It's the rule in France. Okay. For each, for an internship, uh, in academic, of course, not internship that you want to do. Huh? Uh, in, in internship, in the, in the context of academic studies, this is the case. What okay. That, what's an internship in academic studies? What does that mean? Um, like my definition internship, internship is working in, for a company. In, in our specialization, you have one semester for lectures and one semester for master thesis. Uh -huh. The master thesis in France is uh, is in an internship. Okay. Mm -hmm. An internship in the laboratory or a company. Mm -hmm. So this laboratory company, which is the host institution, this host institution, you, you uh, oh, everything is uh, regulated. So you need to sign something, a paper, convention de stage, okay, between the host institution, the school, and you. 
Okay? Is it clear? Yes. The host institution is not your school for the internship. Ah, okay. so the, the company your school is, is, is always, uh, will sign always this convention, produce this convention. So the grant, the payment will come from the company, which is the, the host company. institution, we, yes, it could be the laboratory or, the company. or a company. Okay. Okay? And if I'm working with the company, does that mean that I get paid the exact same amount that someone that's working in the research laboratory? The all. amount you have, the minimum amount required by regulation, okay? And is the minimum amount I don't remember, it's about 600 euros. Is the minimum amount also the maximum amount? Are those the same number? Is it? The, is the, the minimum, minimum amount is the same for all French students. And so does that, can I make more than the minimum amount? Yeah. Can I? Just yes, it can. But Please, <laughs> it's not a job. You, you, it's not, um, okay, you can negotiate okay. with companies. Okay. With companies, not with laboratories. Laboratories yeah, yeah. Uh, are public and we have budget and, uh, and no more, <laughs> okay? But with companies, of course, you can negotiate, but, but I, I need to accept. <laughs> Uh, the proposal, huh? okay. This proposal, given the proposal is given by the host institution, okay, by the laboratory of the company. So this proposal, I will give you the document to detail everything, and I can see if it is um, it meets with the, the master requirement, the, the academic requirement. It's not only development, okay. So this is why BDRP is very important because it, it will give you an idea what is a master thesis, which, which, which kind of requirements we expect from you at the end of the master thesis. Okay? This is very important because this is the 30 ECTS. No one missed only one person in my specialization, but also other, in other specializations. Okay. Do we need to do the uh, master degree like paper defense while doing the internship? Like doing two things. One is internship, the other is writing the paper to defense the graduation. I, I don't understand the question. Like uh, when we graduate, we need to write a research paper to graduate, right? We have a graduation paper for the master no, no, degree. No, I'm, I'm not saying that it, it should be a research paper. I, yeah. I didn't say that. When I presented BDRP, I say, this is, a, this is an idea about what is an internship. Okay, then internship, you can, the proposal, you are not um, in a situation when, where you, you start from scratch. You can have something when you arrive to the, to the, the company. Or to the, but to give you an idea, you have formalization, presentation of the problem, but perhaps new algorithm or adapt all existing algorithms, you have evaluation and implementation, all the methodology should appear, yeah. okay? So, um, of course, and you will have different proposals and it's very, it's not always very easy to, to write a proposal, the first proposal, to rewrite the first proposal. Because when the company comes with a subject, with a proposal, okay, we need to work on that and we need to, no, it's not enough. Mm. It's not enough, we need to develop more to know exactly what, you, what, what the company needs, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and not all the companies do, do, do that, okay? So you need to interact sometimes with companies. I will give you some, some examples. Uh, uh, did I answer your question? Yeah. Yeah? Yes? <laughs> In a company. What is meant by thesis? Master thesis is an internship. Is the name of the in this specialization is in will take place in the form of internship. So it is uh, it's not an internship in a company that is or a laboratory. But in case of the company, we also have to carry a master thesis. In the company or not, your master thesis is take the format of internship. According to uh, uh, French regulations, okay, 
and it will be signed by you, by the school, and by the host institutions. And this host institution could be a company or public laboratory. And what are the considerations like in the internship when you get a report to the company try some reports of how we can the job or it, this is why it's difficult. But you can. You can do it of course. I can do what? No, my question is uh, if in case uh, I go master this internship in a company. Okay, I go to work in a company. Do I have to write some sort of report? You will not work in the company. It's very important to understand. You will work on the proposal. A proposal this proposal is given by the company and I need to say yes or not or to ask for more details. This is my role in this in this procedure. And then you work on the, this part in the laboratory of, of this problem. You formalize the problem, you try to, to find the solution and the supervision weak or strong supervision Generally, in the companies, weak supervision, okay, and so it's very important. And I can, I uh, generally I make a presentation only for internship one uh, in time, not now, because it's very important to understand what is really expected and how you can write and interact with uh, the company of the laboratory to have detailed proposal. Okay, but the say, it's the same thing. There is no difference at the end. All the students defend, will defend in the front of the same jury and with the same, uh, on the same point, will be evaluated on the same point. How they wrote the report, how they presented, how much it's served, uh, <coughs> if the related work is is covered, etc. Okay? I don't say no for internships in company, but I am more strict. Okay? Because at the end, um, you need to, to deliver the same comparable work. But, but I'm not saying that, uh, that in a company it's not interesting. No? You can have very interesting, it's you can have uh, uh, very interesting, it de depends, I see the service, it's a research development service, it's not the same if you are in commercial service, of course. I don't accept, for example, supervision in commercial uh, department, for example, because, because there is no technology, no, uh, okay? So it depends on the companies. So th this period is, is, it will be difficult for you. So is it clear for that? No? Did I answer questions? Your questions? I continue and we can, we can come back on your questions if uh, I miss something. Because I will give more details. So I, how to find the proposal? Or oh, I still uh, was TSBE if I need to send the BDMA. No, the name goes. Uh, so this means that the, 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 the way that we, you, you find the, the, your internship, don't worry about that. You will have first your professors, okay? When I see, a, when I have a student who is interested in graphs and something like this, I propose. I can make a proposal to all of one of the students, okay? Uh, Petra could make the same thing, Brice also, etc. So you will have the f your first contacts are the lectures and the laboratories. Okay, not always the mine because I have other uh, lect lecturers from other laboratories. And of course, <coughs> I will give you a specific. I will tell you to subscribe to mailing list where we. Will we will receive many proposals, okay? And the most important is to attend forums. The forums of uh, the Forum of Central Supreme is very important. The date is around November. Um, 
and you can meet companies. It take it took it take place uh, it take place in in Paris, not on the campus. Okay. Um, it's a very important day for the students, all the students, engineer or master, uh, always well, <laughs> costume, etc. And they, I think the forum is three days. So it's also a way. So you will receive many, many, uh, many emails about events of this nature. Okay? The most important of these events is Central uh, Student Forum. And you can you prepare, I will tell you, prepare your curriculum vitae, short, well written, in the two in the two languages, uh, uh, Marion uh, course of uh, French language will help you um, to write how you present yourself, how you write emails. Of course you, you can write also if you, you write in English, but it's also it's a, it's a, um, an added value if you give uh, English version because you will work in France so it's important to have a minimum uh, of, uh, of the language okay is it difficult to find an internship in a company if we don't have proficient level of French only like basic level of French no 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 not no, not only uh, in Schlumberger uh, it depends on the companies it depends on companies in Schlumberger they it's only in English <laughs> Um, uh, in um, MSC software, it's only in English. It depends on the companies. Uh, uh, I agree with you. Some companies only French. So I, I, will, I will not. Uh, I will not give you. You will see the proposals. Okay. So it's important to have the minimum um, to to have a. English environment around you in, in, in the, in, uh, during the internship, but not only. Okay, well, I have also uh, yes, I didn't talk about Amadeus. Amadeus is one of the companies who, who recruited uh, many of my students. You know Amadeus. You you buy a ticket um, to travel and you see your ticket. It's Amadeus. It's a, 70% uh, produced by Amadeus. Amadeus wa was, um, was uh, a sub-company of uh, Air France, but now it's autonomous since many, many years. And they are interested by your, this kind of profiles, of your, your profiles. Why? Because you are computer scientists, okay? You have a good background. And you have also international profile, and they have many, many. Uh, we, we have uh, Amadeus in um, in the south in Sofia Antipolis, but you have many other Amadeus on the world. Okay, they recruited, I think, five persons from this program, and they propose always, but. My problem with Amadeus is this one. The proposal is very good in general because they have data. Because Amadeus services is um, is a research development. Okay, they work on projects, so it's interesting for, for a master thesis. But generally, the supervision is not good. But when you arrive, you need to understand tools, how to collect all data, how this take, took time and could not take time if someone helped you, okay? So this is the problem I had my, with Amadeus, but, but the, the proposals I are very good, were very good, okay? About travel, about hotels, about um, many interesting problems. So you will have too many choices. I, I, I don't know, it's good for you, but for me, it's very difficult. This is why I give second presentation to say again what I expect from the master thesis. Okay. Uh, it's uh, we try to to put it all the year. 
This is one of the oh. first courses you will have. French course. For all the years, the post. Not all the years, no, all the, all the no, semester. Okay. <laughs> ah, no, you will have many levels. You will not be only from uh, the, the, the fellow is for all master of some crash belay. So uh, you will have many levels, different levels, and um, you can pass from a level to another. You can. No, no. I, I, I think she stopped the. She stopped it in the first semester. It's only for the first semester. Other French courses? I don't know. I can. I can ask. I can ask. There is many. Um, opportunities for English, for French, I don't know. In, <laughs> in the, um, because we are, in, you understand. I, 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 I ask the question because we have many, many foreign students, and perhaps you have other courses in the university. Someone wanted to ask a question? Yeah, I have a question that is not really related to the master courses. It's yes. just a general question. Um, cost of the living. The, the cost of the cost of the living. Of the living. Ah. Uh, expenses. I I I don't know. I cannot compare. But France is, you know, it's. Um, Okay, I continue with that. I will uh, because I will talk about the accommodation in general. Okay, and then we'll talk uh, about life, student life. So uh, uh, to be sure that uh, I finished with all the points, um, of course the proposals must use suitable for, for BDMA requirements. This is my role. <laughs> okay, and. Um, Deadline is mid January. Around mid January, I need to know. I, I I need to know that you say yes. The proposal is is uh, is finished. Is finalized, and the supervisors are identified, and you sign the convention. Okay, convention de stage, and it's you can start. The date are fixed. <coughs> okay. You know also that the master thesis report must be uh, delivered no later than it's also a deadline. I don't know if I have to, to give you an idea. Uh, generally, the mid of August, and the defenses at the, uh, the end of August, the end, um, the beginning of uh, of September in general. Okay. And uh, it will uh, the, the defenses can take place in different, uh, perhaps next year in, in Paris. I don't know. This means that I I will manage it. <laughs> um, we will see. We didn't decide. Okay. So this means that the student can move if uh, if uh, the defenses take place in Italy, for example. My student and the student of uh, Andoven we move. To Italy, okay. So it's very uh, a, a real uh, um, a, a real event for us and for you, and we have ceremony. It's not official. It's official, yes, official. In terms that we we uh, we announce the results, um, but the real diploma, of course, um, for us for my. My specialization is given later by uh, Paris and the University of Strasbourg. Okay, it's not joined with with the other partners. It wasn't possible. So, just generally on the master thesis, if we um, go to uh, Paris for a specialization, will our uh, supervisor for a master thesis be from that university? Like, are no. no longer able to? No, 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 no. No, the proposal could be also. I'm talking about companies and laboratories, but it could be also in another country. Like, 
can we come back to ULD in Brussels? Of course. Something supervised? Of course. I, I will, I will okay. present some cases. Okay. It could be abroad. It's not a problem. But it's very important. When it is abroad, the regulation doesn't work. We cannot force the company or the laboratory abroad in Brussels or in Spain to pay you. Okay? The regulation is only in France when the internship takes place in France. But of course, uh, some examples of, um, of internship. Uh, to give you an idea, what is red is um, uh, what is red is a company, and what is blue is uh, is, um, is a laboratory. But I, I didn't give you all huh, because all the it's too much now. I cannot put all the subjects. So all the proposals you can have. Orange Lab, you know, Orange Lab is you know, Orange Lab in France is the uh, uh, first company of telecommunications and. Um, IBM in France, you can have uh, banks, and you can have also Amadeus, and again, Amadeus, I didn't put all Amadeus uh, uh, proposals. You can have other laboratories, and of course, um, I put some examples of my proposals of our reconciliation. It was with uh, Suela. Uh, I have another with, um, with Modita, but I didn't put it. No, you have no, no. again Amadeus, again Amadeus, and you have an example of Singapore to, to say you to say that it's possible also uh, an internship abroad. Um, Luxembourg, I will read Luxembourg, and um, I don't know if it's but. Uh, and other uh, and different kind of uh, companies also small companies startups big companies okay this is not my problem my problem is to see the details of the proposal not the, the size of the company or its reputation but of course when I know persons I have in my network I know many persons so I can when I don't know the persons, I need more information. From Amadeus, sometimes I close my eyes because I know that, okay, they don't know, but they will do it, so. And the, the project is interesting, so I, I trust them, but, but I know them, so I trust them, okay? Uh, other, uh, and also in different domains, uh, many uh, many students um, because of some years we had many um, many data science. It was boring sometimes because we have to always the same internship data and we need to have uh, to apply different uh, and different. Um, especially when the students are not able to explain uh, what is behind, uh, it's. It's not interesting. So uh, last year we had many um, about I, I know I don't know uh, perhaps it's uh, related to COVID, but with biology in biology many internships in biology and also L'Oréal and also um, and also about uh, uh, about agricultural uh, in in this domain also agriculture. It's uh, uh, so the, last year it was. Um, the, the, the difference, uh, the variety of domains uh, was really an interesting. Okay, of course, we 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 follow, especially in the companies, the needs of the companies. Okay, and it depends on the needs and on the years. And please remember, the master thesis for you is to to achieve with success. Your master, not to have <laughs> money. <laughs> money, okay? Because it, it's only five, six years, six months, <laughs> okay? Only five, six months. So your priority is not is not money. Because I understand it's useful when if you are self-funded or if you have have limitations. I understand, but don't try your your. Um, 
the idea is not the money. The money is after when you, you negotiate your first salary. This is important. Okay, this is, I think, Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, we have a question. Yes. Like, what's the deadline to give you the proposal? Of? Oh, uh, no, 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 don't worry. I will give you all the deadlines. I will. Yeah, if I'm, I I'm don't have. Person, you don't have much time to like get connection with the companies or other. You will. Don't worry. It will happen. Okay. And yeah, I, I, I tell you, uh, I told you that you, you will subscribe to some mailing list and you, I will give you some, some links. And also when I receive uh, something, I will also uh, forward it to, to all the students. And you will be perhaps be competition between you also. You will manage. This is life. Okay, because some it's it's like your recruitment. You will have an interview with a company or the laboratory, and uh, I can have three interviews with uh, the same with the three different applicants, and they, but I have only one position for intern. So of course it will it could be you will compete between you. Okay, so. Practical information. When I will, I, I, I will I ask the Oscar to give me the, the, your choices as soon as possible. Because, um, because I need to give you, to ask you to register online as a local student to follow the procedure, the administrative procedure. Okay? I will give you the link. And why I play this? I will make to have an idea about the number of students that we have because I don't want to have too much students. Okay? Like how no, many do you think is proper? Twin cl um, small class uh, um, combined um, by, by combining the other local students, 20. It's good. Okay? Be it's a good small class. No, 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 no. With local students together. Local students. So how many BDMS do you have? I don't, I don't know. You this don't is know. why I need to know. Less than 20, but... Nine. <laughs> 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 no, you, have, you have 29. There is great specialization. It's not possible. Okay. 20 for some high speed. No. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, we will see. So from now, we need to see your, your choices. Okay? <laughs> And accommodation. So we can talk about life. Life is expensive. Sure, it's expensive. Um, expensive, but you have uh, you have two kind of accommodation for the student. Accommodation uh, managed by Cruz. Cruz is uh, the famous company, public company, which manage. Uh, manage uh, uh, restaurants, uh, accommodations, uh, many things for students. And perhaps social scholarships. So there is two kinds of scholarships. Social help also. Okay? Uh, social help, don't see that as you and No, you, you need a student with, with, with bad conditions. Not possible. So you have also help for that. Okay? So the course also propose um, accommodations. Okay, but the accommodations, the priority is not given to you, but to you, perhaps to some of you, uh, to the person that don't have money. Okay, so if you, you don't, if you don't have too much money, if you, your scholarship is not very, take time to uh, when you register online, I will give you the link after. Online registration, you will receive the registration to ask for an accommodation. Okay? And it's not now, it's centralized. You have cruise, public, and private. And the private is expensive than, of course, cruise, but you have also the opportunity to, to share rooms, something like this. 
uh, so the cost is perhaps more uh, less than taking a room in Kus. Okay. You have an estimate of the value of the room? You have? An estimate of how much is a room? Yes, yes. When you, you have the link, you will see all the accommodation. I, I, know, I, I see it in one student because I need to, to have his uh, point of view because I, uh, I, I cannot see, ha I cannot have your point of view be uh, because I'm not a student, okay? Uh, I need to register. So, um, to have to, uh, what I, I saw, I saw that you have, um, you can see, you can give uh, the location where you are looking for, because the booth is all France. It's not only uh, the, the uh, really all uh, all what you can have around the Paris Saclay. It's not it's also in situ, uh, university in, uh, in Paris. Some of the students prefer. Mm, the third Paris? Paris, yes, oh. living in Paris. Because living in Paris, it depends. If you are not north in the south, <laughs> stand your life because the north, you cannot be at uh, at uh, um, time. Um, in the south, it's possible. It depends of uh, of uh, the if you are quinzième arrondissement, the arrondissement. It depends. Okay, so you you need to see that also. And um, and you will see the different kind of uh, of accommodations. I don't know room, uh, um, an apartment, uh, uh, different kind of accommodation and the price. And you 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 say what do you want to have, what you wish to have. This is your wishes, okay? And then you will have an answer, okay? So oh, it's very important to do it just after the registration, okay? Because if you, you, you come after, in the, in, um, before all the bus registration, Central Spain have a number of accommodations. So we give all the students in our, uh, in Central Spain have, we have this, um, they have rules, they have accommodation. And now it's shared by all the institutions. But I, I, I was afraid for the students last year, but they managed all well, because we, they built many, many uh, accommodations near the campus. Okay? So of course the life is, uh, is expensive, but the restaurant, we have always the famous meal, it's three euros. Three euros. Three euros, yes. For what? <laughs> for for plate, for for plate, salads, uh, desserts, uh, a, a real meal. Okay, for students, of course. Okay. But of course. Uh, the, the, the life is expensive, the transport is expensive, so um, it's important to, to, to know uh, to know what you, which kind of uh, moving you will have, of travels you will have to take, uh, to subscribe or account, something like this. I, I, like in Barcelona, but in Barcelona I paid only five euros from, <laughs> from, from uh, airport to, to, to come here. In France, uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, and a number of kilometers is so. What so kind of, it's um, not the same with the transport. What kind of support <coughs> or programs does Santa Cruz have for um, mental health, diversity, and inclusion? Could you repeat, please? Uh, which, which kind of uh, support? What kind of support programs or systems? What does diversity and inclusion? Look like on campus, and what kind of supports for mental health? You can support for mental health, like you're having. Oh yes, yes, yes. Of course, I didn't talk about health. Uh, okay. So, as a student, um, um, you have uh, insurance, I think. Already, no, it's it, it covers nothing. Yeah. It's covers nothing. Okay, then it it doesn't. Uh, 
um, it doesn't matter next year. <laughs> I hope that uh, uh, you you stay healthy mm -hmm. next year also. Oh, in France, you have to pay mm -hmm. in all cases. This is also one of the challenges. You have to pay select something like this. And this CVEC uh, will give you a uh, uh, right to have a uh, Sécurité Sociale uh, cover, okay? And you will have a card and a uh, number, Sécurité Sociale number, etc. It's, it's mandatory now. But it's mandatory for every student, all student, foreign, French, it doesn't matter. No, it's not in the registration. Okay. It's really separated from the registration, this. Now, it's really separated from the registration. It's, it's one of the things they changed. Everyone has to pay this. Every student? Yes. And how much is the I don't know, 50 or 90? <laughs> I don't know. Or not? Or no, 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 yeah, it's not too much. It's not too much. It's really, uh, it's really a small uh, contribution, but it's mandatory. Because uh, in the past, some students uh, told me that I, we want, they want to pay this, and etc. So now we cannot. Okay. So with that, and of course, you have uh, many, uh, you have many services. In uh, I didn't talk about this. Uh, uh, many services in the school. Uh, um, I hope you, you will not need this kind of services, but no problem for is that. There a, is there the and especially with the COVID, we have many services now. Is there an LGBTQ2 plus uh, club on campus? Or organization, association? Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, please, uh, please don't, uh, don't stay in your room. Uh, you have many extra activities. This is. This so, no, no, I'm asking specifically about uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, like LGBTQ2. Is there a club on campus for that specific group? I don't know. I don't know. You can see. I can, uh, you can see uh, the kind of association you have. Uh, uh, how um, is the English level of professors on campus that teach us? How was The English level. Uh, like what level of English to, just because of that community? Ah, English level of, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, how many professors? Uh, at least for the professors or lecturers, how about their English level? Ah, about the English level of the professors? Yes. yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. okay. How, many, how many students are there in every classroom? Uh, in English classroom? No, and just in the classes we're taking, how many students are there in those classrooms? Yeah, I'm talking about which classrooms? Uh, like the program we'll be in. The size the of the classroom. Ah, the size of the classroom. How many students? Okay, this is uh, different sizes because we have different programs. Uh, for our engineer, the first year, the second year, the third year, it's different because uh, you have uh, just Dominant, for, for example. Program, just for these courses that we're, we would take. In these courses, yes. we cannot, the rule, the general rule, is we cannot um, have more than 25 students in small classes. Okay. Okay, in labs assignments, for example, we cannot. Okay. But of course, we can have uh, amphitheater, uh, 100, 400, it's, it depends on the the rooms we have, of course, uh, it's also related, related to that. And we have of the director of the theater of 800 students. But none of our classes would have 800 students. No, no, the, the, the last assignment uh, is, uh, doesn't, um, don't uh, exceed 25 students. Okay. And, the class and, and this is why I want, I don't want yep. to, because I will, if I take more students, I, will, uh, I need to parallelize. And this is what it's, this is, a, it's not all, only a number, huh? okay? Are the classes in person now? Uh, after COVID, are the classes in person or all are all they uh, at home, from home? The class is in person or online? Oh no, in person. 
all of them. Oh my God, no, in person. Uh, from September, it's in person. I hope it will continue. I can guarantee it. Not, but the, the things are progressing in the positive uh, way, yeah, I, mean, I can say. It seems like it's, it's getting better. Yes. Perhaps we will not need our masks in France, I don't know. Because perhaps we will of the election, we will elect our next president. And, uh, <laughs> no, I, I think the things will, um, will, will change. So we change, we continue like this. And the, the, the university buildings, are they, how old are they? Like how, I don't know, how is this many, no, older, no, no, the, the campus of, um, the campus, I, 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 I knew the campus, there, there was nothing, only two buildings. It's really a big change for me, and now we have many, many buildings. So, it's a, it's a new city, yeah? it's a new city, really new city because we have new schools for children and it's not only schools, we have also particular, uh, uh, really new city. The, 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 one, um, the one negative thing is, is the transport. The transport is not, uh, of course, in peak hours, eight, seven, nine, okay? But between nine and five, uh, you, you don't have many, many buses, many, uh, many traffic, okay? This is, this is a negative point, but we will have a metro, perhaps it will not be there. <laughs> I will be a, a I don't know. <laughs> we'll have a metro to, uh, to have access between between the plateau directly to to the, the train. Yes. Uh, sorry, you mentioned before the south of Paris, uh, but which area should we look for? Because I mean, sorry. Paris, the most fourteen uh, arrondissement. Uh, Paris, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eleven is so far. The, mo the best is this, because you are near Donfer Rochereau, and Donfer Rochereau could be 30 minutes by train. But after, you have to walk. Because it's very important to understand, we are in the plateau. Plateau, this means that the train is, is, uh, is, is at the bottom. In, in the bottom of the valley. Valley, Valley de Chevreuse. Okay. And Valley Chevreuse, you know, um, it's Saint Remy les Chevreuse, you know, you know the Chateau de Versailles. You heard about, but it's not very far. It's far by transport, <laughs> but not very far. It's, it's uh, the same valley. It's a protected region. So really, um, um, the history, the south of uh, of Paris, we have many many. Chateau, many castles, many sh things to um, to visit. Okay, if you 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 like nature. Uh, what do the students do after they finish their masters? Do they go more to companies or in more France? To okay, this question I know my, now will answer. In France, you have when you are you have um, you ha you are graduated in France. You have one year to find a job, okay? But perhaps some countries are in except some countries. I don't know. I don't follow this uh, these rules every year. But the general rule is um, a fresh a graduated student has one year to find a job. And do Even this? Master. Yes. I mean, I'm talking about foreign students. Oh. And the previous DMA students, do they usually go to companies or do they usually follow? Oh, I have students? many, have, you know, have through, of course, PhD students, when you take the percentage, you don't, it's, it's small, uh, even if you take all the university, okay? Um, this is why you must 
very bad because this number is very important in the in Shanghai ranking, the number of PhD students. Um, but um, but I think if I, I see only my specialization, three, four, five students. Okay, Suela, Modita, Mudud. Um, uh, what is his name? Oh, okay, <laughs> it's too old. <laughs> and another, another with uh, with Petra also. So, of course, more students go to uh, to the companies. It's life. I cannot. Uh, um, and there's some of them before going to the company or. Uh, Following an um, academic uh, way, um, they prefer uh, achieving a PhD because PhD gives a, a, a value to your degree. But it's not mandatory, okay? Yes? Uh, is there any attendance issues? Like, not issues, like, uh, is, there any, is there any attendance rules you have to attend all the classes? Attendance too? Is there attendance rules? Is it mandatory to attend every class? I mean, some, something like that. Yes, yes. It depends. I cannot give you the general rule because uh, it depends on lecture also. The lecture, I can give you um, marks during, during the lecture. Okay? Uh, if you are not here, you know, I don't know how you can. So the idea is to be here, to, be, to attend all the first. It's very important. If you work, you need to work. It's very important to say it. Okay. I I need also I need to finish. I I need to leave. Um. Yes. I think I did. Ah, yes. Because one of you asked me a question about scholarship. I don't know how you you knew that, <laughs> because I didn't talk about this. Yes, uh, Paris actually, um, you, can, uh, you can have um, scholarship from Paris actually. This one of the things, one of the things changed this year. Because we have two kinds of scholarship, uh, DigiCosm and IDEX scholarship. DigiCosm, now, it's not for you. It's only for Master 1. Okay, when we recruit students in Master 1, they have Master 1 and Master 2. It's like for um, Erasmus Mundus. So we have only IDEX. It's, uh, it's really a competitive selection. I had in one four scholarships for BDMA students in all the generations. Okay, so it's not too much. I, I am surprised to have the chance um, because it's very competitive. Okay, so if you are self-funded and you have a good application and you have time to prepare. Seriously, application, because the application needs to have your new marks, new recommendation letters, etc. Uh, because I, I will defend if I, I see that your application has chances, I can present it and defend it. But I need all documents to be able to defend it. Okay? But it's not only for it, also for the local student. So my priority is uh, is self-funded, of course, and um, for competition, selection, um, competitive selection, hard competitive selection, your application must be very good. La last year, um, uh, I, I don't remember the name of the girl who is who. Is work, she is working at Amazon. She, she had the two 
the scholarship, two scholarships, I let some, he let some of Gigi Cosmo. But she needed to, to choose because her application was very good. Okay, do you have other questions? So don't hesitate, I will send, um, send uh, the document, the PDF of uh, the presentation. If perhaps you need to, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask me, uh, your, to, to send an email, but please put BDMA uh, generation to, to okay. have a, an idea about who, uh, but because sometimes I don't read emails because I don't know the, the name of the, the person, okay? And um, after the, your choices, um, of course I will give you all in detail the, uh, the administrative procedure. And if we need, we can also meet online to explain all the things, okay? Thank you. So thank you.